Hey guys, let's go ahead and do a discussion on inequalities. Okay, so when we are doing our statistics, a lot of times we are saying uh, we have some word problem that has some statement with like greater than, less than, um, Sometimes we say like at a minimum or at a maximum, and we need to be able to convert those phrases into mathematical symbols. So I'm going to put up like our basic symbols that we have, and then a whole bunch of possible definitions um, or uh, possible phrases that could be used in lieu of those symbols. All right, so the first one that we have really isn't an inequality, it's just our equal sign, it's our equality symbol. So we've got equals, and we've got not equals. Let's start off with those two. Okay, so for our equal symbol, uh, some phrases that we use uh, commonly are, we can say just equal to, uh, sometimes we use just like the word is, so we could say like, um, you know, we could say that the, um, the QBR of the quarterback during the football game uh, is 92 and that would be a way to use an equal symbol. All right, for not equals, uh, some key phrases that pop up are words like not or the words different. If you see either of those, it's a good chance that we're dealing with the inequality of not equal to. All right, so those are kind of like our two basic ones. Uh, and now let's kind of jump into a few others. All right, so one that we've got is we've got our greater than symbol and we've got our less than symbol. And we have a, quite a few. And this list is not exhaustive, but it's to give you some of the ideas of the phrases that, that we're looking for. So with our less than symbol, if we see like less than, that's a good indicator. Over here for this guy, you know, let's put a, a nice little line here. We can have greater than, greater than. Um, sometimes you'll see under, you'll see over. Um, you might see larger here, uh, exceeds. Uh, you'll see a uh, smaller. Uh, those are all phrases that, that could be used for our kind of less than and greater than uh, symbols. Uh, so if we were to say, you know, we have, um, we have a cow, uh, the average weight of the cows is smaller uh, than uh, 1,600 pounds. That would be a key indicator that we would then be using our less than symbols. Okay. We've got two more common ones that we see often, and they are the greater than and equals or less than or equals to. So let's put those guys up. So we'll put them in the same kind of order. We'll have it be greater than or equal to, and we have less than or equal to. Okay, so for our greater than or equal to, a phrase that you see a lot is at least, so if you see the phrase at least, you're thinking like, okay, I need at least $20 to be able to go on this trip. Uh, if I have $15, that's not good enough. But if I were to have $25, if I were to have $30, if I had at least $20, uh, that is saying that I need something greater than or equal to some specific value. Uh, another phrase that you'll see for this is like at a minimum. Uh, that one is saying, you know, I need twenty dollars at a minimum. Kind of, it's a, um, oh, it's a synonymous to at least. Uh, another one that we use is like a value or greater. I need twenty or more, twenty or greater. So we'll say value or more, and another no less than. So we see we kind of have a bunch of different phrases that will, um, that will equal our greater than. All right, so similarly, let's take a look at our uh, less than 
or equal to. Uh, so we'll see here phrases like at most, um, at a max, or maximum. Um, we'll see like no more than. Or uh, we'll sometimes see like a value or less. So there's a whole bunch of different ways that we can talk about our different inequalities. And the, the key to this is that in the word problems that come up in statistics, all of these phrases are fair game. You'll see them all the time. And we'll need to be able to interpret those phrases to be able to get the correct inequalities so then that we can go through and do our correct uh, statistical analysis.